Everything that we were taught growing up told us to just be harmless, never rock the boat, never do anything that might make you stand out. You see, as humans, we have a natural tendency to follow the herd or a natural tendency to want to blend in. But ask yourself this, why is it that so many of us resonate so incredibly strongly with the villains in popular Hollywood movies? Why is it that secretly, it always feels like a part of us actually kind of wants the evil guy to win? Society regularly tells us, pretty much from a young age, to take a back seat, don't be too assertive, don't cause any problems for anybody. And this is what we are always told to do from a young age. And in school, we tried being the nice, harmless, virtuous man. We tried being the knight in the shining armor, so to speak, or the guy who was always friendly, always polite, always aiming to make everybody else happy. While secretly all the girls that we liked were skipping class and passing us up for the guys who were pure evil. The guys who never followed the rules, the rebels, the bad boys, but it's not just girls. Other men never respected us either, but they did respect the guys who were intimidating. They respected the guys who didn't seem harmless, the guys who didn't seem nice, who weren't afraid to be cruel. What I'm going to share with you today is something that could honestly change your life forever. And it's something that you can implement not 10 weeks from now, but right away immediately after watching this video. So many of us have gone to see a movie and on screen, right in front of our face, is a man who is, in all honesty, just like you and I. A man who started out the same. A man who started out harmless, scared to offend people. And a man who was taught that as long as he's always nice to everybody, he can have anything that he wants. But then something happened, just like it always does in the movies. And somewhere along the way, this nice, harmless man turned into a monster. Just look at the Joker. Look at Magneto. He tried his best to live the life that we are all taught to live. The one where we remain harmless. The one where we let others walk all over us. Characters like Magneto could easily crush those who have wronged him. But eventually it gets to a point where enough is enough. And it was only after his entire family or pretty much everything that he ever loved was slain right in front of his eyes that he couldn't take it anymore. And he made the conscious decision to become a monster. Now something within each of us, especially as men, resonates so incredibly strongly with the villain because deep down, we all have a villain within us. You see, every human on the planet is capable of immense evil. This is something that you already know, yet our species lives on because we choose to tame the monster that is within us. But many of you watching have tamed the beast just a little bit too much. There is something about villains that excites us, something that makes us feel really good. And by living vicariously through them, even if just for 90 minutes while we are at the movie, we actually get to experience what it feels like to be truly free or what it feels like to be free from all the chains that we shackle ourselves up with on a daily basis. The things that we don't say, the opportunities that we don't take, but the villains just don't have these problems because the villains are free to do whatever it is that they want. So many of a man's problems, especially as a young man in today's world are a direct or indirect result of his inability to become a monster. You see, it doesn't matter how nice you are. It doesn't matter how wealthy you are. The two richest men in the world couldn't even keep their wives. So what does that tell us? It tells us that if you cannot become a monster or if you cannot unleash the beast that is within all of us, girls will pass you up any day of the week for the guy who can. The now infamous YouTuber Vitaly wears a shirt all the time. And you know what that says on that shirt? It says the word villain. And in all honesty, Vitaly is an example of a man who took the whole villain concept a little bit too far, but girls will always be obsessively drawn to the villain because the thought of being with such a dangerous man is so intoxicating and so powerful that many girls will not hesitate to completely ruin their entire life and their relationships simply for the chance to be with one. You see, it is an instinctual thing. And while girls are always obsessing about the villain, other men are choosing to respect him. A couple of years ago, I had a Z06. Now, I know a lot of you don't care that much about cars, but what you need to know is that the Z06 is a really menacing looking sports car. And whenever I would drive that car, I always noticed that people would rarely ever tailgate me. And most, if not all other drivers around me would actually keep a good distance from me while on the road. And while I was driving, people would see the exterior of the car. They would see the sharp curves. They'd see the headlights and the front lip that made the car look angry as it crept up behind them in their rear view mirror. And they would simply give me a level of respect that I just didn't get in other cars. And the same concept applies to us as men. It's really no different. You see, when I go out driving in a basic Nissan sedan or some other car like that, I have somebody that tailgates me almost every couple of minutes and I don't even live in California. 
You see, basic cars just don't get the same level of respect from other people. Two of the greatest problems that so many guys are struggling with in the modern world are girls not showing any interest in them and other men not respecting them. And yet, both of these issues can be solved with a single simple solution. If you look at all the major superpowers around the world, like America, China, Russia, and so on, the reason why there is enough peace right now that we can go outside and actually live a free life is because these countries have shown that they can be monsters. America, for example, is not afraid for even one minute to flex its military muscles, and so other countries know not to mess with it. And so to solve the two most common problems that men face today is as simple as unleashing the monster within you. Because once you have become a monster, girls will instinctively be drawn to you and other men will instinctively respect you. But this is where most guys get it wrong. All the villains in the movies are examples of guys just like you and me who are tired of feeling powerless, tired of being perceived as harmless, tired of other people stepping all over them, and so they unleash their inner monster. But in doing so, they actually made a huge mistake, and the mistake was not keeping it under control. You see, all the guys who end up in jail or end up in terrible situations in their life are the ones who simply didn't understand how to control it. Because there is no point in releasing such a massive amount of power if you cannot control it. So the key is learning how to control it. You see, you have to know where to draw the line between being assertive, confident, and powerful and being just plain evil. A modern day bully is really nothing more than a boy who became drunk on power. A boy who saw the power of becoming a monster and then went overboard. He's kind of like Augustus in the Wonka factory. He got a taste of the river of chocolate and he just couldn't stop drinking it. You see, many men go their entire lives taught to be harmless, taught by society to never stand out, to never break the rules, to always be a good little boy. And the reason so many of us resonate so strongly with the villain in the movies is because deep down, we all wish that we could be a little bit more like him. Deep down, we all know that we have a monster within us. We're a confident, powerful, and assertive man that is just waiting to be unleashed. But most never actually unleash it. So many guys these days are afraid to become the villain, afraid to stand up for themselves, afraid to do or say something that might offend other people. But to solve many of the problems that we as men are currently facing, including the two biggest ones, you have to choose to become a monster. But, but once you do this, or once the chains are off, the most important thing is learning how to control it. Otherwise, you might just end up like the Joker or one of the other countless villains who were so overcome with their newfound power that it ultimately destroyed them. So it's time to become the villain, but in a not so evil kind of way. And with that said, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching.